Hello everyone, welcome to the session Object Oriented Programming through Java. Myself Navya, I am an assistant professor from the department of CSIT in MLR Institutions of Technology. So, we are seeing the part, fifth part of multi threading in Java. In this session, we are going to see, in the previous session, we have seen what is the problem of synchronization and how you can solve using. Uh, how you can achieve synchronization using two methods one is mutual exclusion and the second one is inter process communication and here in this session we have seen how you can achieve the mutual exclusion using synchronized block and synchronized method so we have seen these with example programs in this session you are going to see the second method in order to achieve synchronization is interthread communication what is interthread communication what are the methods used for interthread communication and how you what is the producer consumer problem and how you can solve this interthread communication problem you uh, or the producer consumer problem you by java programming So, coming to interthread communication, what is interthread communication? So, interthread communication is the concept of two or more threads communicate to solve the problem of pooling. What is mean by pooling? In Java, pooling is a situation to check some condition repeatedly to take appropriate action if the condition is true. Once the condition is true, it will uh, check the until and unless the condition is true it will check the condition repeatedly that means interthread communication in interthread communication a thread waits until a condition becomes true such that other threads has to can execute its task so here it allows the synchronized threads to communicate with each other and here java provides these methods to achieve interthread communication. One is wait method. Thus, it, it makes the current thread to pause its execution until the other thread is uh, thread in same monitor calls notify. Okay, what is notify method? It wakes up the thread that called on wait on the same object. Notify all will wakes up all the threads that are called wait on the same object. Here calling notify no, notify all does not actually give lookup a resource. Lock a resource. So what is con producer consumer problem? What is producer consumer problem? What is producer? The producers are the processes that generate data and place it into a buffer. buffer. Who are the consumers? Consumers are the process that take data from the buffer and use it. And the challenge is to ensure the producer don't add data to full buffer and the consumer don't take data from an empty buffer. So, this was a required proper synchronization to manage the access of particular buffer. So, that was a uh, buffer. What all I need for this is a buffer. What is a buffer? It's a shared resource that stores the data produced by the producers and consumed by the consumers. It can be implemented as a queue with fixed size limit of number of items it can hold okay so what will be the solution for this particular problem so the producer can producer produces the item isn't it the consumer consumes the same but here the consumer cannot consume until the producer produces the item and the producer cannot produce the produce until the consumer consumes the item that is already produced so the producer first produces the item producer produces the item then the consumer has to consume it so again the producer will produce and the consumer will consume if it is an empty buffer. So, for example, the producer has produced 5 items. Item 1, 2, 3, 4. The consumer has to consume all the 4. 
okay and the consumer cannot consume the empty buffer and the producer cannot produce when the buffer is full so this is a problem so here the consumer has to wait until the pro, pro, producer produces the items and the producer also needs to wait until the consumer consumer consumes the product here we use interthread communication in order to implement the producer consumer problem so this was the solution so we are going to write a program for this it's an item queue here i am taking in an item queue i'm taking an item i'm taking a buffer here so first an int item and the value set is defaulty by false i am synchronizing this particular method here and get item is my method and if not a value set value set is not not a value set is true so if it is true then it will uh, it has to wait first and it will print interrupt if any exception occurs it will say interrupted exception caught and the consume uh, consumes the items so how many consume next value set will become false now the thread will sleep for 1000 milliseconds and if any interruption happens uh, you can have the interruption cost and you have to notify that particular thread and it has to return the item this is what the get item and all methods wait wait notify and notify all can be used in uh, used in inside the synchronized methods only Okay, yeah, synchronized method put item which I has to generate, right? So here you will have the value set and you has to wait for it. And if uh, any exception occurs, it will go with the exception. And what item it has produced and value set will become true. And next producer will produces the item. Next thread will sleep. You has to call a sleep method for a particular thread, current thread for thousand milliseconds. If any exception occurs, exception method will be called. And next you has to notify and you has to go with the other thread. Next producer. So what producer will do? Producer has to create the new threads. So runner it uh, implements a runnable interface. And here item queue is in uh, you are creating an object for the item queue here and in this you are what is this run method if while it was true i value initial it was zero why it was zero uh, while true it will put the item in i plus plus so so on it will produce the items okay and here you are going to start the new thread and the consumer also the same the consumer has to consume uh, and you has to start and the, it will it would be true after if the buffer is full it has to consume the uh, item as it is now in the main method what you are going to you has to create an item queue and you has to create a new producer and new consumer that's it so what happens let us see this program in detail so this is my program for producer consumer problem and what was my class name producer consumer okay see here producer has produced zero and consumer so here the first the thread is synchronized the producer is producing then the consumer consuming producer co producing the consumer consuming so it, it was the two threads are internally pooling itself or they are communicating with each other and while producer produces then only the consumer has to consume here so the same thing is happening here this is how the producer consumer problem is achieved uh, the problem is solved using interprocess communication so in this session what we have discussed we have discussed what is interprocess communication sorry interthread communication so two threads 
internally communicates itself and we have seen the methods to achieve ITC and we have seen a problem called producer consumer problem. Solving it by interthread communication, and you have seen the solving producer consumer problem using interthread communication by Java program. This is what we have discussed in this session. Thank you all.